Hello everyone, it's Linda at Full Moon Studio. Welcome back to the channel. And first of all, can I say an enormous thank you to everybody who has subscribed recently. Now, I know that some of you came from Cara Brandon's Facebook page, and I also know that some of you found Cara Brandon's Facebook page after seeing my last Friday freebie video. Now, Cara has this week um, brought out yet another beautiful Friday freebie, and that's what I'm going to be working with today. So let me show you that first. Um, this is it. So there are three tags and then some ephemera bits. Um, and I printed it out twice, once onto matte photo paper, once onto copier paper, because um, I thought I might do a bit of collaging, I'm not sure. Um, and you can see the difference actually between hopefully colour wise. Let me find this. That is the difference between printing on matte photo paper and printing on um, even a good quality um, copier paper. Um, so if you were thinking about is it worth investing uh, in some matte photo paper, I would say yes. And I've also recently found one that's got um, two sided so you can print it two sides, which is great as well. Anyway, I digress. So we've got it printed out twice, um, though I printed it myself four times because I wanted to get a little bit ahead by cutting out the tags. And then we've got a beautiful tag with a butterfly, one with birdie, and this one's just like a postcard, which is lovely. So then I also cut out um, all of the ephemera pieces that came with the kit. Um, so that's those. So that's effectively the whole kit sitting there. Um, what I've added in is also some of my own um, fussy cut flowers, a few bluey flowers. I found some green stamps um, that kind of go with the stamp on the postcard tag there. And then a couple of bits from last week's freebie. Um, this butterfly and a couple of words that were included in last week's Friday freebie. So that's kind of what I'm going to be using. Uh, now I did pull out some collage materials as well. I'm not sure where I'm going with this. So I wanted to have the option of collaging. Um, so just, you know, my usual bits and pieces. Um, then I've got a piece of vintage copy of paper to back the tags with. Um, I have no idea why I've got a piece of cream card stock there. Right. So that's all of that. Um, and I finally, I've got uh, a 12 by 12 sheet of Tim Holtz scrapbook paper. Uh, and this is from the memorandum um, paper pad. So this is going to be a cover. So, of course, being me, I saw three tags and my first thought was trifold. Um, so I'm going to make a really simple, just trifold tag holder. Um, no notebooks or anything inside, just a basic trifold tag holder. Um, and let's see how we go. So to begin with, I think what I'll do is um, cut this down at six inches. Now I had thought about making it and making pockets like this, um, but I realized that if I did that, um, the writing would be upside down, whichever way I did that. So I'm going to make separate pockets. Okay, let's remove that out of our way. So let us cut this down at six by six. six by six, six by twelve, six inches. I'll end up with two pieces of six by twelve. Hopefully. Okay, one, two. Right, so this is the piece I actually want to use for the cover and I'm going to make some odds and ends from the spare bit. So let us now just score the cover and we'll just do that at four inches. and effectively eight inches, but rather than turn um, everything around, and get the extension arm out, I'll just do four from this end. All right, let's fold that up and see what it looks like. I just need to move these out the way, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and I'm going to do Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see. A little bit on the snug side, so let's just take a tiny, tiny sliver off of here. I do mean a sliver. Put 
perhaps a slight sliver more. That's better. So all in all, I've taken off about, um, probably taken off about an eighth of an inch. That's not very straight. That won't be helping matters. Okay, so we've just got a basic trifold piece of paper and I want to make some pockets and a, I think I'm just going to make two simple triangle pockets and a belly band for the middle. So let's have a look at that. Um, so possibly the simplest thing to do to begin with is to, I quite like that there, um, cut this off because it's, it's the same height as the cover, more or less. Um, so if I cut a piece off there, and let's just have a look and think, maybe an inch and a half, that should be okay. Righty ho, that will give us a belly band. Um, and again, I've kind of slithered it. So um, if you want to make this, I'm sure it'll work. Just make sure your cutting is a little bit more accurate than mine is. Okay, that's good. Uh, and then, now I had a couple of ideas about this. Let me just bring the tags in. Um, Oh, there's plenty of room. Okay, so let's get on and do pockets next. So I think what we'll do is we'll cut, what will that look like? Hmm, okay, I'm kind of winging it here. I'm not quite sure what this is going to look like, but let's do it anyway. So that's four inches that way, and I'm kind of just, thinking about this. Oh, that's not, mm, mm, no, I think it'll look funny. Yeah, let's just do it like this. Okay, so I've got a scrap to use. Um, and I've got these scraps if I want them as well. Right, back to this, we'll do, I'm getting carried away, so one thing at a time. All right. So they will go in here like this. And I might just need to take a tiny bit off the corners there. I'm not sure because I've cut these down. Yeah, I'm just going to honestly take, you know, no more than a tiny, tiny piece off. And that's that. So let's glue those in. Let's commit to that. Where's my glue book? Oh, there we are. Pop that out of the way for a minute. It's in our way. Don't need that. Okay. That's the belly band, and that one's going there. That is going there. And I realize I meant to distress it all. Okay, uh, not to worry. So there we go, we've got a trifold, um, two pockets and a belly band. Let's just round the corners here. bit 
tougher going through the two layers there. That's good. All right. Now, I realise I had meant to distress it. Oops. Um, let's do that. And I will be quiet while we speed this up. So I'm just going to be using um, gathered twigs. And we'll get a little bit of distress on. Okay. Um, now, you um, may have seen me, I know we went fast, um, using a bit of paper here. Now, I stuck these pockets on before I distressed them. So all I've done is, actually I didn't do this one, pop this in here like this. And then you will be able, if you're careful, I don't want it to slip out. If you're careful, then you can just gently distress along the edge there. And the excess ink will go on your spare paper and not onto the um, back of your, your your project. So that's a quick tip for when you forget to distress a bit, you meant to distress. All right. And I'm looking at this now and bearing in mind that I've only glued on these pockets and glued on this. Um, I'm just going to go and stitch around it. So I'm back um, and I took the opportunity, actually, um, I had another piece of this paper uh, and I wasn't happy um, with the fact that I'd had to trim various bits down. This one measures exactly what I said it would. Um, so I've got a second one and I have now um, stitched around it. So this one um, I'll finish up after the video. So now all that remains is for us to pop in our tags and you could, I mean, you simply could just stick them in, um, you know, if you wanted a really simple, simple project, that's kind of all you need to do. Um, but I think, I think we can improve a little bit on that, don't you? So let's back these onto my nice um, antique looking paper. That's the first job. I'm hoping they're all fit on. And let's get the Yoohoo stick out and the glue book. And I know this is a brand new piece of paper, it's straight, so I can line up my edges and we should be good. I'll bring in my spreader. Oopsie. So um, these tags have already got um, sort of stitching, you know, as part of the design, so we won't be doing any stitching around that. I don't think my sewing skills are not good enough to be able to go over the top and guarantee a straight line. So I think I'll get this one in down here with a bit of luck. Yep. Perfect. And I think I'm going to put the final one down the bottom here as well.
Right, so let's see if we can chop that up. Looks about right. Not bad. Oh, that's me just chopped off the faux stitching on that one. Oh well. Um, okay. So that's three tags. Let's just cut off their little ears. One. That one. All right, I'll keep that wee scrap. And I'm just going to give my trimmer a quick clean uh, with the old toothbrush just to get all those little bits out of the groove. That's okay. And I'll sweep all the little bits off here. I really would like to get, um, you know, a miniature dustpan. Um, that would be quite good. My granny had one of those, um, it was like a crinoline, metal crinoline lady and you sort of lifted her up and she had a dustpan underneath to get the crumbs off the dining table. Anyway, I digress. So let's do that. Let's do that. Same again. Probably should have done that before I did my sweep up. And a bit more distressing. Let's not forget this time that I want to distress everything. Well, this is, you know, not, not a necessity. Um, very much a personal thing about whether you like the look of distressed edges or not. I do. I think it just gives a little definition and finishing touch. Oh, didn't do that one. I didn't cut the bottom off that one. Okay. So these are nice sturdy tags now. Um, and I'm actually going to put holes in them now because um, I just find it easier on my eye uh, if I've got the holes in to start with. And then I, I don't, you know, put things in the wrong places. I didn't mean to do. That should be fine. There. there. Oh, this is a stiff hole punch. There. And where did I put? Here they are. Ah, right. These are my um, light coloured um, sort of a buff, I suppose you'd call that. So I'm just going to darken them up a wee bit. I like them to be a wee bit darker. These are great. Um, I got them, I don't know where, actually. I think from a shop on Etsy that is no longer there. Oops. Um, and it, I just like them so much better than the white ones because the white ones take a bit longer to add colour to. 
Okay, so I'll put one front and back on each of these. Do you know, um, it's quite funny, my, um, my brain is kind of starting to think about options now. I had kind of one idea in my head um, and kind of then I thought about something else and now I realise, do you know what, I'm going to sort of combine my two ideas. So hopefully, hopefully that will work. So let's have a wee look and see. Three tags, okay. Um, three tags and here's our pockets. And the reason I'm just trying it in the pockets is just to um, kind of be sure the pockets are a bit snug. Um, so I don't want to stick anything on here or the bottom of these tags that will catch, um, hopefully. So I think I want to start with this butterfly because I kind of had, um, as I say, I've got an idea what I want to do with him. Uh, and that is to stick on these extra uh, butterflies that came with the kit. I think there's a baby one somewhere. So I don't know if I want to do one, two and three. Oh, I like that. Yep, let's do that. So I think um, I will just give them a wee bit of a distress. Um, Cara did these beautifully. They've got um, a very nice buff um, border around them. So you could cut them closer if you wanted to, but I decided just to leave the border on. Um, and that, of course, is something that I was moaning about with the um, sticker book that I've got, that they um, have huge white borders on. So well done, Cara. It just makes it easier and you know if your fussy cutting is not quite accurate it just gives you that little extra bit of um, that's not the one um, space to wriggle about in so there we are now tempting as it is to just stick the middle down and let the wings pop up I, I think that's just going to be um, Silly. Though we could put them up on dimensionals, couldn't we? What about that? I wonder if I can reach some dimensionals. Uh, hang on a moment. I will be back. Right. I managed to grab a few dimensionals, and I think that's I think that's what I want to do. Um, let's try it. Can we take them off again? Or I can just cut them out of the other piece of cardstock that I've got. But let's just see how it would work. I'm using up the absolute um, scraps of this dimensional pack. Okay, um, get the backings off. The other thing I thought about doing with this is, was be to put some um, some glossy accents on. I thought that would make them really stand out, but you know, um, it takes time to dry, so it's not a suitable suitable thing to do on a video. I like that. Yeah, I do. Okay, keep going. One there, and hopefully some edgy bits will do it. Kind of there, and oops, that one might a bit closer to the edge. Okay, well, that's not something I've tried on a tag before, but I, I 
kind of like the dimension on that. Oh, he's not straight. I think he could come down just a fraction. I'm committed. Yeah, I do. I like the dimension on that. Let's just see what he looks like in the in the pocket. Yeah, just fits. Um, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Yep. All right. I think he's going to need a label of some sort, don't you? Definitely. I need a label. Um, so let's see what we've got here. I think I like that, actually. And just see if there's anything else I kind of fancy using. I just um, let me pull out the other bit that I've got here on the paper and mm, no ah what about using a bit from the spares from the um pad uh, the tim holtz pad let's just get the tear ruler not convinced this will work but i'm just you know No, I don't like that. Okay, as we were. I just feel it needs something else, you know? It's got that, it needs something. Ah, hang on, I had some stamps. What about that? Or another butterfly, even. Too much, but it'd be nice on the pocket. What about a plain label and a word? What about that? Did that work? That's okay. I'm, <coughs> you know, I could. I could spend hours doing this. Mm. No, I'm going with this. I'm going with it. I'm just going to um, commit. But I think this is awfully white against that. So let us just gently see if we can't change the colour of this label. Not a lot, just enough to take the stark white off of it. So this is the one of the labels from last week's kit. Yeah, quite like that. Let's pop it on. Um, and let's put a word on it first. The only thing is, I feel that the words are a wee bit small. Now, I'm going back to this one. Okay, I'm going back to this one. I like that. I like that. Right, so that's number one. And I'll, I'm going to park him here before I lose it. It may not quite be finished, but let's do that. Now, this one. Um, ah, that was the word I was looking for. Breathe to go on that label. So before I lose it again, let me just stick it on. That'll work. Right, pop it back in my little box. My bits. So let's have a look at this one. Um, I think I want to kind of tear something down to go on there. I'm still kind of, oh yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm liking that. And that's given me an idea as well. So I'll just, I'm going to cut it roughly to size. Yep, should have distressed it, shouldn't I? Ha, ha, ha. I 
do that bit. I can do the edges afterwards. All right. Okay, yeah, I like that. I do. Um, so I'm kind of wondering now. Stuck that on crooked, what am I like? Oh, Clinda. All right, not usable now. Um, don't worry about it. Oh, well, that's kind of cute as well, isn't it? Oh, whoa, whoa. I just want something down here. And I think what I'm going to do is tear a wee bit of another piece of collage paper. But I could put that. Well, I could put that there, couldn't I? That's all right. I just just got that he needs something and I don't know what he needs um, and I don't want to do anything that takes hugely away from him oh that's nice how about that that I like all right um, just again put a tiny tiny bit of distress over the being careful not to tear the petals all right I think if that went in there, I would be happy. Indeed. Let's let's not distress the edges of that. Let's just pop it in as it is. So I'm just going to make kind of close the gaps, as it were. So where the end of that branches I'm just going to be sure that my um, petal there meets so that's fine I'll trim off the excess now if I putting an element like that on I kind of like it to go outside the edges I just think it you know outside the lines thinking outside the lines is good oh I like him okay and if we did that I think that would finish that really well So, slightly off-centred. I'm just going to get rid of this yucky bit of paper before I put something important down on it and regret it. Okay. I think I'm going to call that temporarily done. I think so. And, you know, while this is in my. Oh, I wish, you know, I wish I'd, I wish I'd put that on the belly band before I stitched it down, but that would do. Um, I've got distracted, but I liked that. And. I like that, so I'm just going <laughs> to stop and quickly do that to the belly band and then I'll go back to the other tag all right so I think that needs to be down the bottom so about there It's um, really difficult to find images of really blue flowers. Um, you know, there's lots of butterflies and birds in nature that are blue, but flowers, they always tend to have more of a, a kind of a mauvey look to them, but that's okay. Oh, I'm liking that. I am liking that. So let us get this on here. I'm really hoping Cara's going to make this into a bigger kit. It's gorgeous. That works. All righty. Now, I am wondering, we've got this, um, 
I think that might be too much, don't you? Yeah, I'm seriously thinking of keeping this really quite plain because I've got, you know, these decorated tags here. I'm going to do something on these pockets, I think. Um, and I think perhaps um, we're at the point where the eye may need to rest a wee bit. And coupled with which, bringing things in out and out of here, you know, they can get a bit um, tatty. So I actually think I'm going to leave that as it is. Um, but I am going to do something possibly on the back. I'm so determined to use this flower. But we've still got the pockets to decorate and we still have the main cover to decorate. So I'm kind of just thinking... Let's hold off finishing the tags and let's have a wee look at the cover. OK, well, confession time. <laughs> I made an absolute pig's ear of decorating this cover. Um, so I've managed to pull everything off um, and we'll start again. So this little chap's from the uh, from the kit. And he's rather cool. And I just think he needs a little bit of something extra and we'll be good to go. So that is a spare bit of this. Um, and I think I'm literally just going to do that, that and keep it simple. So hopefully I don't mess up again. So I think I'll just cut this in half. It's, it's two inches, so let's cut it at an inch. Mm. Slightly fatter, a fat inch. Okay. I think I like this one better, so I'm just going to cut a tiny bit off the end of that. Maybe this, this end. And let's give it the, the usual treatment. All right, we'll get that down. And I think... I think I just want to round the edges of this little chap. Um, and I'm not sure whether to go with the smaller, smaller rounder. Let's see what we think. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Like that and like that. Yeah, that's working. Okay. You know, I think I tried to over I tried to overcomplicate it. I had torn bits and just, you know, I was trying to do too much. That is still just a fraction too high, so that's us. Bring that in there, that in there. That's okay. I'm going to get that down before I change my mind. Yep. Oops. Do you know, it would be so much easier if I took that out and flattened it down, wouldn't it? I can't even have the excuse that I'm tired because I'm not. I slept well last night, so can't be that. Okay. Pop that on. About so. Okay, I'm liking that. I am liking that. Um, mm -hmm. Just a little extra something. What have we got? Put 
butterfly. Yes. Um, let's just colour up his white patches. I just want him to, yeah, just got him going across and out. I will have in a minute. Yeah, he's outside all of the lines, so that's a good place to put him. Down you go. Um, and then the only other thing maybe would be a label, but... Um, I really only have a couple of labels from that kit, so I don't think that's going to work. Um, I don't want to start using labels um, and bringing in all sorts of other things. So let's how, go back to the inside. Now, I'm definitely going to leave the back um, plain because, um, you know, you could just stick it into uh, your journal like that. And you could stick it in one, two, three, and then you'd have another pocket there. So there's lots of lots of thoughts, or it could just be a standalone piece. So let me put him back in for a minute. Take that out of the way. Pretty happy with that. Um, as I say, I've left this very plain. So you know that flower that I've been desperately trying to use up? Let's get him in there. That's the place for the flower, I think. Trying to decide which side I like it best. Obviously, I want to leave room for people to write. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just, you know, pushing it a bit. Hold on, I've got a little one. A little one. That would be good. Um, and that would kind of be in keeping, wouldn't it, with the rest of the little flowers that we've got here and there um, and maybe just stick it like another little um, stamp on it or that right I am not going to spend hours on this I promise um, I think I'm just going to do some tearing of various bits that will be a little little bit of collage tearing I think that's the answer for that oh um, that would be nice on the back of that it just needs a straight line okay Put that there. There. Yes, like that. Ha! Huh. It's coming together finally. A little bit of distressing, of course. This is why I printed it out um, once on paper and once on card, because then I could use the paper, um, you know, to tear up. Um, for collage. That's fine. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Fussing now, aren't I? But ah, details, details. Okay, so that's the back of that tag, and I think I'm going to call that tag done. She said, "Yeah, I'm going to leave that plain." So let's give it a little bit of string. 
Um, once I put the string in, I know I'm done. Kidokes. So that can go in under that. Fine. Right, the butterfly, this butterfly. Mm, still actually feel like I want a little bit of something around the bottom of that. Just needs a little, I don't know what it needs, but it needs something. Um, not that. Bit of that, maybe. This is stiff to tear. Um, I'll do it with my fingers, I think. A bit hard with the tear ruler. Okay, let's have a look. I don't like it there at all. I'm going to leave that and maybe just maybe just pop it a little bit along the back there just for a wee bit of decoration at the back. That would do, wouldn't it? I mean, I've got another little flower somewhere there. No, nope. no, I really can't find anything to put there that I really, really, really like. Oh. Yep. I'll be at the point where there will not be a single piece that I haven't used from the kit. So that's okay. I'm going to put the string on, call it done. That cornflower is still calling to me. Whoops, whoops. Right, that's that one. Um, that one we've decided is done. This one. A little bit of something on the back there, maybe. Um, do you know, I think I might be going to end up putting that there, but let's concentrate on this tag. Don't like that. Yeah, let's do that bit of that down the side of that one. It's just to, um, you know, just takes the little plainness off it, complete plainness off of it. And just a little bit of interest. That'll do us. Oops. I think um, once I've turned the camera off, what I will probably do is just mod podge over these because that helps keep everything neat and down. 
string. Okay, he's in there. It's so funny, I call everything he, whether it's a bird or a butterfly or even a flower, it's a he. Um, that's not bad. Do we need a little something there? Am I just fussing too much? Passing too much. Leave that. Um, I just, I just, I'm determined I'm going to use this. I love it so much. Um, I think I would like to put that in there. And I think, if I'm lucky, I've still got one of the butterflies left. No, it doesn't really go, does it? No, oh, it's that. No. Do you know what, though? I'm just going to put that on because I love it. I just love it. So Oopsie. There we are. So I think we can call that finally done. Um, it's a lovely, a lovely, lovely little, um, if you like, mini kit, um, super giveaway. Um, I love it to bits. So I'll just leave those hanging out the top and then I think for a final touch, we'll just tie it up with something. A bit of seam binding I've got here that just looked as though it would be more or less the right colour. So, um, Yep, I think I think that's fine. Maybe put the bow to the side. I say just fussing again, um, but that's us. So we've got a little uh, little trifold, simple decoration on the front, stitched around the cover, and three different tags and pockets on the inside. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and um, I thoroughly recommend if you. Um, haven't been on Cara's Facebook page that you do go and it's a great way of you know having a go if, if you download a freebie so as I say thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye